Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the uh, FTL Advanced Edition with our stealth ship. So we've got an excess amount of power now. We're going to cloak right away. Little system repair buddy, just hanging out. Hopefully we won't have quite as many problems with breaches and stuff now. Good old glaive beam doing its job. I might want to upgrade weapons next, just so we can get the, that heavy ion operational. That would do a lot of extra damage if we could take down shields. I'm concerned that soon they're going to have level 2 or 3 shields, and level 3 shields can't... You know, the Glade Beam can't do anything to them. I think, depending on the angle, is it possible to hit all of them? Maybe not. Let's just click that then. Doesn't matter anyway. We're going to actually intentionally go for these ship locations. Hire the mercenary to scout the sector. Hire the mercenary to delay the rebels. I think we just fight you. Like we fight everyone. Now even though he's got the, the Zoltan super shield, the glade beam will do tons of damage. So what we can do is target this room, this room, and now actually we probably should just go for the four. Try to hit four rooms. Let's try to take down the weapons. Wherever we can hit four. So we ended up only getting through to the oxygen. Ah. Ouch. How dare you ionize my shields. Nice job, little health, little repair drone guy. We like you. You're our friend. Obviously, he, he's going to be dead next year. Why do I keep saying obviously? It's like, everything's so obvious. <laughs> it's like to say it every time. Can we hit four this way? I'd really like to hit your shields. Oh, you'll probably die if we do this. Nope, we don't accept. Stealth ship with stealth weapons. Very scary. Eventually, he'll get good at shooting. That is a lot of fuel, but I, I kind of feel like we need the scrap more so we can try to upgrade weapons. It's going to take us uh, 125 scrap to get the weapons up to the next level where we'll be able to use them. Use one of the weapons we have on board. Although we could just upgrade it once and switch over to more of a, a heavy ion charge 2 type thing. It's always an option. This glaive beam is just too good to pass up. You know what, actually we should we should hit the guy. Just in case. Does quite a bit of damage to him. Hey, he's not dead. We're gonna get you. No. 15% <laughs> chance it's gonna resist every time. Wow. Alright, let's check out the store. Maybe we can get a weapon pre-igniter. That'd be even better. Stealth weapon, weapon pre-igniter. Yes, please. No? Okay, so do we want an anti-personnel drone? Something that can defend our ship? Do we want a beam drone? Nah. Anti-drone drone? This thing, the nice thing about this is it just requires so little power. The problem is that our system can only handle two drones, so kind of, if we took the anti-drone drone, then it would prevent us from actually having any offensive drones. Mind control. Maybe we'd be better off just picking up some more crew right now. We could still use a guy in the shield room. 
still use a guy in the sensor room. This guy's got piloting skills. Yeah, I think we take the human. Rebecca is not so good at it. Let's have her go into the sensor shield room. These are your new homes. Let's continue. Distress signal. Sounds fine. Your clone bay does not scare me. Oh shoot, we have the charge 2 charging up. Alright, whatever. We'll let that thing charge up and see how it does. I would probably have definitely... <laughs> the, the, the glaive beam I think is significantly better, but... It did it. I mean, it did a good job. It's just that the glaive beam would have killed them. For roughly the same amount of power. I still have not had a playthrough where I was able to use the Vulcan. That's the, the next thing that I really want to play with. I want the Vulcan weapon. Quite a bit of fuel. Uh, no. 22 scraps, not enough. 35 is better. Very close to a sun, so we can get some fires. I think we avoid that one. A weapon pre-igniter with two glaive beams would just be sick. Until they have level 3 shields. And at that point, maybe if you had like an ion drone, that'd be cool. Not sure what kind of bomb that is. Nothing I can really do to stop it. Oh, we could cloak again, actually. Oh, 22% chance to evade, and we evaded. Nice. Lots of stuff. Very close to the sun, very close to a sun. Asteroid field. So we have to go close to the sun to get to the exit, so... It is what it is. Intruders on board. Oh, boo. <laughs> There's no oxygen in there. Can't make that drone leave. No, don't fight the drone! Don't you dare hurt him. Leave him alone. Um, let's see. I turned off oxygen. That's part of the issue. Okay, you need to go heal. So you got hurt. So does Rebecca. Yes, repair drone. You repair your, your station. Get it fixed. That's your responsibility. <laughs> Alright, we're going to avoid the next one there, I think. And just check out some more spots. Sell missiles. Three scrap per missile. Well, we're not using any missiles, and we do have a missile launcher, but... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of missiles. I just don't like resources that are going to run out. We'll go for one more jump. I think we can take the rubble ship without any real issue. So yep, same as before. We'll target these four rooms and that probably won't kill them because the rock people resist shots pretty well, but... We'll at least take down their weapons before they can fire. Definitely working out well to cloak at the start. Yeah, actually, wow, we actually took them out one shot. Cool. Now I gotta go to the exit. Fight the rebels. Pretty quick run. 
That is the, what, a pike beam, I think? Or is that a fire? I don't recognize that beam. It's definitely a burst two. Maybe a burst one. Burst two, I think, has three little things there. Alright, um, yeah, pretty much have to do this. I love how quick he responds. <laughs> Droney! You go, guy! The oxygen's down! I'm on it, boss! <laughs> I just like him. He does a good job. Can you please go fix the hull? That'd be even better. We have a lot of scrap. Wow. I kind of didn't realize we had built up so much. All this for one fuel. It's probably not worth it. One fuel to take two or three scrap, two or three hull damage. Not the best planning, actually. Unfortunately, we have to go to a civilian sector, which is going to be more scrap-based. More, uh, more stores, fewer combat. You have more, more jumps that are just going to do nothing. We have a Pegasus Missile Launcher. Creative Missile Design allows for two projectiles for the cost of one. Fires two missiles that do two damage. So it just kind of increases your chance to hit. And then a Flak one. You could also pick up a Reverse Ion Field. Defense Drone, Anti-Drone, Ion Intruder. Wow, Marcus is really good with shields. We already have an NG, or a, uh, a Zoltan. But he's really good at shields. And if I had to pick up another crew, a Zoltan's a, a good pick. Okay, that's your new job. Rebecca is uh, demoted yet again to sensor duty. And I think it's time then, now that we have better shields, to upgrade our shields. And let's also upgrade the weapons and get one more power. So now we can bring the Heavy Ion online. Cool. Let's start jumping. Now the Heavy Ion Glade Beam combo will work really well. And pretty much just fire on cooldown at the shield room. Now we don't have to focus on the shield room with the Glaive Beam. We can just target the, the largest swath of territory that we can hit, which is actually going to be probably here. Bam. Possible effect stun. So close, but so far. You're dead. Okay, yeah, just fire on cooldown. Go. Do it. That should work out fine. Unfortunately, two ion doesn't actually take down two shields. It, you have to do three ion damage to take down two levels of shields. But still, he's dead. Nice. I feel like this ship is really easy. <laughs> At least it's been easy so far. But that means it is going to get really hard soon. I'm sure of it. That should kill you. Oh, he's got a uh, super shield generator. That sucks. You know what I'm actually going to do? Let's, um... We're going to upgrade the weapons one more time. Because I want him to just fire the charge laser on on cooldown, just to skill him up, because he's still not even level 1. Or he's still not level 2, I guess level 1 would be basic. I want to get him up to level 3. I think you're dead.
Naturally, I do that right as there's a store. <laughs> okay. I think we can get a few more jumps in before we head to the store. Purchase an unknown weapon? I think we just attack you, actually. So fire this on cooldown for now, just to skill yourself up. Actually, probably best to do it this way. Seven missiles. Hmm. Well, if we cared about missiles, that might be tempting. But we don't, so we won't. Every time you resist, my guy just gets better at shooting weapons. Nice. I think we'll have time to go to the here, then to the quest, then back to the store, and then down to the exit. Okay, uh, charge thing, uh, yeah, not too worried about the, an ion would be more effective here, but I just want him to get better at shooting. Ten percent faster, now upgrades to fifteen. Makes a big difference, man. Ouch! That really was not good. Even with 82% of aid, he hit us. No. Do not accept. Okay, an extra store. And... He repaired our hull slightly. We could get the shield overcharger. That's kind of cool. Could be useful, maybe. Takes three drone power, though. We have 16 drones. That's probably plenty. Hmm. Just trying to think ahead here against the, the Rebel flagship. What's going to be the challenge for us with our current layout? I think we need better weapons to take down the shield so the glade beam can do its job. An offensive drone would be nice. I don't think the shield overcharger is really going to help us because we've already got shields and cloak. So the combat, I'm probably just going to end up going with twin combat drones. Which means we should probably buy one now. Now this thing takes three power. We could use this thing in, instead of the charge laser. Actually use our missiles. I just don't like when they evade. I don't know about that. We'll jump here just to see if we can actually hit that up that other store. Hello. Yeah, your, your FDL's not doing anything while we have this thing working. Go ahead, come on into the oxygen in this room. Seems fine. Caldwell, if that's your real name. Oops, um, okay, close the doors. Open the interior doors, turn on the oxygen. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing okay. Pretty good. Pretty good, in fact. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.